Hello! Uh, I was just going to do a quick rundown on some of the fun you can have with the new Liquid Foot Update 4.84. Now this remembers its eye slots between different maps. And you can also tell specific slots, regardless of what map they're in, to change and it will follow them around. So what we can do here is um, these are my normal patches, so these are some, these are songs. So got some clean crunch delay. It's a bit quiet because the neighbours are a bit in bed. Um, but yeah, then this goes up and down songs. So so anyway, those go up and down songs, and then IA maps change. These are pointing at fixed places, but if I go to this patch, uh, or this patch, that patch has a use of a different IA map. So you can see those two are the same in that IA map, but this and this button over here are different in that IA map. So you can change around, and depending on what you're doing, so if, for example, I go to this one, I've got the button from a phaser there. So I can hit that, and my phaser goes on. Now, one of the things I have, the way I have mine set up, is I've got a page button over here. Can you, is, can you actually see this, or is this too dark? Uh, right, yeah. If I hit this uh, page button over here, this then takes me to my IA slots page, where here I can instant access any of the things and call them up via MIDI, but I can instant access any of these. I've got another five-way switcher over there under that. So this here will give me the... Say the tremolo. It's a pretty extreme tremolo setting at the moment. But yeah, um, so. But one of the things that's good with this is if I go to, say, uh, which was the patch? Yeah, this one here. If I use a different map for this, if I hit that on to turn on the phaser, if you come over here, the phaser's on. It's one and the same thing. So it, you can have different things in different places which follow each other around. Now one of the fun things I do with this is let's just stick it on a nice crunchy delay. Here, here we've got a bit of delay there. Oh, actually, let's do it with it on something without a bit of delay. So there we've got something without some delay. I have these so you can set uh, cycle modes. And this here, at the moment, my expression pedal over here, a bit droopy this stand. I tap that, can you see a bit better? It's not very really bright in here, is it? No, I actually, whoop. More lights down in. Hey, is that better? Hey. So over here I've got my expression pedal. And uh, that's probably more expression pedal than you need to see. Let's go back to here. Anyway, you'll tell when I'm using the expression pedal. So if I... Uh, at the moment, does nothing, as you can hear. Can you actually hear? Is that amp too quiet? So it's doing nothing anyway. So if I hit this, it will now assign the expression to the time I mix. So I can bring up my mix up and down as I like. The other thing I can do is if I hit it again, it cycles to the next thing, and now it's assigned it to repeat. So. If I put it all the way up, it will do infinity repeats, hooray! And then I can kind of bring it down as I like. So that's not normally assigned at all. Um, so it's nice having two functions on a button, and if I just hit it again, it will now go back to being unassigned. Um, but it obviously leaves it alone where it was. Now the other thing is, say I'm on mix here, I might want to change my reverb. This button does reverb. So that now assigns it to that. But one of the things it does first is it tells that to get a step, the first step. And the first step is the unassigned one. So one of the good things you can do with these is you can put in skip programming. So this has the skip programming that if it's, 
If it's been pressed, it will unassign it. If it's been triggered by some other programming, it won't unassign it. Otherwise, you could end up that every patch you go on to, these go to step naught, and every time you program some lovely programming to say you've got a patch where you want it set to something, when it loads up, we'll configure the the expression pedal to do whatever it is, whatever speed or something or whatever, and then it will instantly set both of these to naught afterwards. Uh, the first step and it will unassign that so basically these both have programming on that whenever they get triggered by some by programming stuff it will switch them um, it, it will ignore that first step that unassigns things so this means I can now play about with my reverb mix on my reverb decay but if I choose the other button it unassigns it, even though it leaves it. So it's great for that kind of thing, um, because if I use these in different maps, these might end up in different places. Um, if I always reference them by the slot they are, rather than the position in the current map, they will always then work, basically. Um, another example of that as well is, let's just, uh, let's go and choose a, Another. If I go to my pages here, because I always know exactly which IA slot they're in, even if I don't know where they're going to be in a map, that means I can also then have, similarly, if I hit that, I can use the whammy. And if I go back to there, it's unassigned those, so it's changing all the lights for me exactly how I want them. Um, and the other thing as well, because of that, is if I then say, let's stick some tremolo on. Uh, speed up a bit. Um, if I then want to say, assign that to the tremolo speed, it unassigns it from the whammy. So the lights always follow the thing. Um, um, the other thing as well here is if I have my pog thing. So the, that's my pitch shifty thing. If I then use the pog button, which just makes it fixed on the first slide of the eight step, it turns off the pitch light. Hooray! If I go back to pitch, it unlights that, even though it doesn't particularly do anything in that current state that I can always. So, that is, ah, I've just ruined, I'm not sure if I've done all the programming for this yet, if I do that, oh yep, super, so that's double time, that's other time, that's triplets, so whole, double, triplets. The other thing, similarly, I can have it so, here I've got tremolo. If I've got tremolo on, if I use my momentary tremolo button over here. Oh, I haven't actually programmed that yet. You can see here, if I press that, it should, when I let go of that, turn off the, it now says tremolo's on still, but I've actually turned it off. So that's a button that I haven't yet programmed yet. So when I use momentary tremolo, I can make it so when I turn off tremolo, uh, the momentary tremolo button, it will turn off the tremolo here, uh, light. So all of my lights can now be programmed so they reflect exactly the current state of the expression pedal or of all of the other things, as well as the fact that, well, as I made the example here, because this is in a different, I can't make that the same slot in this map as that quasar button for the this is the phaser 
I can't make that the same as that because otherwise then when I went to say this patch where this is now doing delay toggle this would become delay toggle so the joy of this is this is actually uh, whoop, uh, that button is in one place in the map that other place is in a that button's pointing at a different place in the map where it's got a duplicate of the same IA slot. But because they're now all totally related together, if I turn on this slot in the map to make it swirly, that relates back to the actual fixed IA slot, so it turns on this other map place. So all the lights work. And I can turn it on from there or turn on from there and so the, to me this is a fantastic addition to liquid foot um, and it's lovely and we all live happily ever after so so yeah that's about it I hope that was um, hope that was interesting and exciting and if you've got one of these, I hope that gives you some ideas as well. If you've never tried using step functions for assigning things. And also, don't forget, if you do make something else go back to step one, don't make it assign your expression pedal. If you're doing that for expression pedals, don't forget every time you go to a patch that sets these back to step one, it will unassign your expression pedal unless you put in the skip when programming, um, when, when triggered. So, yeah, it will do that when you purposely press it, but it won't do it when it's triggered by something else. So, there you go. All the fun of the fair. You can just jam away. All your songs, all your sounds. But then if you're just jamming and you want to get exciting, you can just throw in anything else you fancy and go, yeah, let's have a bit of timeline. a load of made up nonsense sensical rubbish but yeah there's the idea at least um have fun Doodoo.